What you doing, Teddy? Good boy. In 2018, we had an undercover investigator go into a contract testing laboratory where hundreds of dogs were being used in experiments. We learned of 32 beagles who were being used in a pesticide test that involved essentially poisoning the dogs every day for up to a year. There was huge public outcry when we brought the attention of this to the public and thankfully we were able to get these dogs released out of the laboratory and into loving homes. Michigan Humane Society did a wonderful job finding loving homes. A lot of them were adopted, it looks like, into homes with other companion animals. <laughs> you know, that's why they are used in laboratories, because of their gentle nature. So to see them actually in a home after all they've been through was so heartwarming. <laughs> this is Brody. Hi, boy. That's Tia's pet. Really happy. Oh. I'm so excited that they have names because usually they're given numbers. Number 364. 3582. Just the fact that they had names and are recognized as individuals, it, it is emotional. I'll always remember the first time I ever met the first beagle from the lab, Teddy. Every dog, until the day when we're not using them in laboratories anymore, deserves a chance to live a life at a home. I'm so happy that the owners have shared with us the lives after, because we wonder what happens. And at least we even had an opportunity to wonder what's gonna happen. They didn't end their life in the laboratory, like most. <laughs> I'm grateful for the person who went in undercover, to the people who took action, who spread the word. She has been a champion and an advocate for all of those dogs being tested. Most grateful now to the owners of these 32 dogs. Grateful to see the army of the kind <laughs> being built.